Well, it is Black Friday, and we're just a few days away from Cyber Monday as well. But with an uptick in cyber scams during the holiday shopping season, especially you, how can you can you protect yourselves rather? To help us answer this question, of course, we're joined by Robert Falzen, the head of engineering at the cybersecurity firm Checkpoint Canada. Robert, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so we know that on a regular day, we're getting those scams that are either through text messaging, through emails. You get all of them just on a regular day. So we can only imagine what happens on a big shopping day like Black Friday. What kind of scams are you seeing out there and what should people look out for? There are so many going on right now. Most of them, as you mentioned, are coming in via email. Uh, some of them also, you might find them along uh, social media. If you're browsing through social media, see those ads that pop up in line and so forth. Basically a lot like the same things. They include things like um, shipping scams, for example. So you might get a notification saying that, hey, there's a there's an invoice uh, here for something that you might have uh, you know ordered, but you didn't order anything, but the invoice is attached. It actually has malware in it, likely, and they're looking to take advantage of you. Um, look for things that are you know too good to be true. For example, there probably are no Louis Vuitton bags on sale for hundred dollars. So if something looks too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Um, there's all sorts of different other things too related to uh, everything from discounts or anything to counterfeit goods and so forth. There's just a ton of different ways that uh, malicious actors are taking advantage of people this time of this season. And are there particular people in the population that are the target more often or that fall victim to this more often? I find as I'm you know, th thinking uh, on this question and I'd have to say older folks are probably a little bit more vulnerable from an email perspective. But then I also see a lot of younger people who are being uh, taken advantage of via social media because it's a, a trusted source of information for them. So really, the short answer is it's really affecting pretty much everybody. Everyone. All right. And so how can people protect themselves then? You watch out for those signs. But are there other ways that if you do start to click on something and then realize maybe this isn't legit, is there a way that you can protect yourselves then? There's a few things you can do. First of all, be wary of any sort of password reset emails that you might get that you don't remember submitting for. Those are very dangerous. Uh, if you see something that catches your eye, go to the website directly uh, and look at the vendor themselves and see if you can find that deal on that vendor's website rather than clicking on anything in an email. Also make sure that you keep all your protections for your devices up to date, your operating systems and things like that. Have all the latest patches before you go shopping. Keep them up to date and use security software like Zone Alarm to prevent uh, threats from activating in the first place. Make sure that you're protecting yourself uh, and make sure you do the same thing for your children as well uh, on their devices. And are these scammers, what are they looking for exactly? Is it just access to your computer, access to your passwords and personal information in order to uh, perform other scams down the road? All of the above, exactly. They're looking for your passwords, certainly. They're looking for financial information. They're also looking for ways to further exploit you down the road. So they might even be looking for ways to read your email and then maybe prevent, you know, create a bigger scam down the road using information they've dug up from your email inbox. All right. They also, they're also selling this information as well. So they might steal passwords and then sell those uh, passwords to other uh, hackers and so forth down the line. And if you find that you have become a victim of one of these scams, what should you do? Well, I would say right away, make sure that you're keeping track of your credit score. Uh, so monitor that very closely. There's lots of services that can help you to do that. Reach out to your uh, financial provider. Or if you use a credit card, make sure that the credit card company is aware that you believe there might be a scam afoot and that uh, you would make sure that uh, you're, you're not paying the price for that. Uh, those are probably the two things I would do right off the bat. All right, Robert, thank you so much for joining us. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much.